If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got the Power Up expansions. Again, now, guys, I thought this was every Wednesday, so a little bit late here. I honestly, I don't know why. I could have swore it was every Wednesday, unless today's a day early. But I was not expecting it today. I had another video lined up for today to find out this was coming out. So I'm a little bit backed up here, but not too much, obviously. And in comparison to my usual stuff, a little bit but in comparison to overall kind of right on time for the most part but guys before we get into today's video we go over the six new power expansion players which are pretty awesome today make sure you're on them down below hit that subscribe button turn on the notification boys come join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always and let me know down below what you guys feel these power expansions i will be ranking them at the end like i always do to give you guys kind of like a general idea of where i stand with these and then tell you guys like my overall was this a good week was this a bad week are these cards usable but we'll see everything as we get into so let's head over to the binder i already picked up all of them some of them are kind of pricey today some of these new power-ups are kind of pricey. So I got five bought, and then the other one I already had in my binder, so I will go to him at the end. We got Brian Bosworth, Larry Fitzgerald, Amon Green, Andrew Whitworth, and Dante Hall. So I start with Brian Bosworth over here. Now, Brian Bosworth, I don't imagine will be too great just because his other cards weren't too great, but let's go check him out. 99 overall. So 93 strength, good. 90 agility, good. 92 speed, good. 93 excel, good. 97 awareness is great. Catching super low, that's bad. 90 attack was amazing. 90 jumping is decent. 95 impact blocks, really good. Power move doesn't matter. Finesse move doesn't matter. Block shedding 95 is amazing. 95, 98 pursuits, really good. 97 play wrecks, really good. Man's not great. Zone, not great. But you'll probably end up using him. And 95 hit power. Okay, so honestly, this card's a pretty decent user card. You can leave him alone, but his zone's not too great. Honestly, guys, compare him over to Patrick Willis. Patrick Willis probably beats him, but not by a ton. I could see this card being pretty decent. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That card is not bad. It's usable. That's always start. Uh, some cards just aren't usable. Like this Larry Fitzgerald card, I imagine probably won't be usable. Probably end up like a 92, 93 speed. So let's go check that out. 93 speed. Okay, there we go. 81 strength. That's good actually for a wide receiver. 95 agility is good. 93 speed is super bad. Now he can get up to a 96, but that's still not that great. 96 excel is decent. 99 awareness is great. 99 catching is great. 90 carrying is great. 60 run block is honestly really good for a wide receiver. 99 jumping is really good. 83 stiff arms really good. 85 spin moves decent, 88 juke moves decent, 99 injury doesn't matter, 99 stamina, 99 spec catch, 99 catch in traffic, that's all amazing, 95 medium route, 94 beat press, 76 break tackles, 97 short route running, and 92 medium route running. Now guys, if you are going to be running a Cardinal Steam team, this card actually will be phenomenal for you, but that's only if you're running a theme team because you can't get up to a 99 speed, and guys, he actually probably be really, really good if you have him on that. He's decent at best, I wouldn't use him, but it doesn't mean he's horrible per se now we got Amon green the next guy on this list now i'm actually excited for him he used to be really really good when he first came out 88 strength is amazing 95 agility is really good he will not get human joystick though 97 speed is good enough because sprinter will get into 99 97 excel is good enough 96 awareness is decent but doesn't really matter as much 79 catching is really good actually because on my team with uh, john madden passing he will have an 80 catching his carrying should get up close to a 99 uh, let's keep looking. 94 jumping is decent. 98 trucking is amazing. That'll be a 99 on my team. 91 elusiveness, elusiveness is good. 98 ball carry vision is good. 95 stiff arm is good again. Should get up to like a 96, 97. 82 spin moves not that great, but 93 juke is good enough. Should get that up a little bit more. And then 97 break tackle, and he's a decent route runner, short route runner. So guys, honestly, this card is a pretty good receiving and running back. Like that's really not too. That's not bad of a card. That's not that bad of a card right there. Not gonna lie. I think that card actually has a purpose, and on a Packers theme team, it's probably the best running back you guys can get, or at least up there for it, right? Next one, Andrew Whitworth, probably going to be one of the best players on this list, just because he's a left tackle, and it's just very nice to get good linemen at this point in the year for this price, in my personal opinion. Now, 96 strength, great, or good enough, I should say. Really slow, but he's a tackle. 77 acceleration, 98 pass blocks, great, 95 run blocks, good. 97 impact blocking is amazing. 93 run block power is kind of low. 95 run block finesse. Okay, so he's not a great run blocker. I mean, like, he's a, you know, he's a good he's a really good run blocker, but he's not great. 96 pass block power, 99 pass block finesse, and then 94 injury, 94 stamina, 95 pass block. So, I mean, 95 lead block. Not the best, not the best run blocker, although having, a, having him being a tackle, you really just want that max out pass blocking, which is borderline there. But his run blocking, I guess, is good enough. Now, in my opinion, this year, you know, you run a lot of stretch, a lot of outside zone type stuff. So you do want your left tackle to be able to hold the block. But I guess he will get the job done for the price. Probably worth it. And depending on his... I mean, I've never used ability on linemen. But I've been playing some franchise. And some linemen with abilities are pretty glitchy. So 
you never know you might want to look into all that so let's see what we got so far with the first four knocked out now we got Dante Hall. This is one of the ones I'm most excited for. This one could be super fun if they give him the right stats. They did kind of botch his first card. His first card, his first card was just a complete mess of all around. 99 agility, which I believe he's had for the longest time. So he has human joystick. 98 speed with sprinter, 99. So maxed out speed, 99 excel, maxed out excel, and then awareness should be 99. So 99, 99, 99, 99. Catching is really low, actually, but that will get to like a 91 on my team. 84 jumping is really low again. So, you guys, he's like, he's not a receiver. Once again, they're not using him like that, which is sad because he's 99 now. How do you get it? You don't understand. So, there's wide receivers like Tyreek Hill who have good catching, good route running, and 99 speed, 99 juke, and all that other stuff. And they're 99. How does Dante Hall have the same agility, same speed as them, but then end up not having any catching stats? Like, at what point are they still the same, the same 99 overall? That is where this game confuses me with ratings. 99 juke move, of course. Um, he cannot run block to save his life, so do not run block him. And all of, like, the, this card sucks. <laughs> Again, really? 85 spec catch, 86 catch and traffic, 85 medium route running, 81 beat press, 89 short running, 88, 88 deep route running. Here's the thing. They're going to say, you know, use him as a kick returner. So then you got to put either return man or human joystick on him. But then you can't use him on offense because he sucks. So you, on offense, I'd much rather have, like, a guy like Tyree Kill or I know there's other receivers at this point in the year who could do almost that without being him now. Could you use him as, like, an RPO specialist? Maybe. But at the same time, do you want to waste your one of your ability slots on him? Kind of a tricky situation there. I really don't know the deal with Dante Hall. You, you may be a guy who knows exactly the scheme in your offense. Maybe as a, a Wildcat quarterback, he could be super fun if you ran Wildcat a lot. But I just don't see a purpose for me personally for him. Like, that's just a waste. I'd rather have my Tyreek Hill or someone else. I know there's other guys at this point that have come out that can somewhat contest this, but... You actually can't play a wide receiver. So on offense now, your quarterback has abilities, your uh, your, run, your halfback, but then you don't use Dante Hall wide receiver, use him as a special guy. So now you have no abilities in catching, which is fine if you like that. If you go that route, that's fine. But I imagine it just sets you back a little bit considering wide receivers on the field, multiple downs a game, he'll see like three to four plays a game, depending on how you play with him. Not my personal thing. Now let's go check out one of the, one that the, well, could be the best. And that's Troy Palomalu, which is why, because I already had him powered up. So for me, I didn't have to go to that list right there. So right here, let's go to the next spot here. If I have enough, I will power him up all the way. Nope, I do not. Okay, so this is what he looks like, 99. So it's just a slight increase on what he already is, which is still good because his other card was really good. 79 strength, which is solid. 96 agility, great. 96 speed, great, because now he gets to 99 speed. That's perfect. 99, 8 excel will get to 99 excel. 98 awareness is great. 83 catching for safety is great. 93 tackles, decent. 98 jumping is really good. Impact blocking, finesse, none of that really matters. Block shed could be a little bit better, but 73 block shed. But he's more of a ball hawk type guy, in my opinion. 98 pursuit's amazing. 98 player X amazing. 85 man's great. 97 zone, so it gets to 99 zone, and the man will get really close to 90, but it won't hit it. 92 injury, 99 stamina. 85 spec catch is really good. 96 hit power is amazing. And 77 press. Honestly, the card's very similar to his other card. Oh, except for the hit power, they got a plus three right there. That's actually pretty big. Hit power got a plus three. Zone got a plus two. Catching went up. No, it's, it's a pretty decent upgrade because especially when you're that high, like any little thing you get up plus camps can really just send you over the top. The short pile model card is really good. Now, let's do our quick little rankings here. So starting from, start from uh, the other cards and then we'll work our way into Troy Pile Model. So here's the thing. Based on the best looking card, probably Troy P. But that's already, you know, that card was already there, but I'm gonna have to go with, let's start from the worst. Worst card on here that I will absolutely no means use probably dante hall i think dante hall just hurts your offense not a fan unless you have a chiefs team team and you could really get them up to, i don't know or redskins oh no it's chiefs so chiefs um worse second to worst coming in number five i'm gonna go with larry fitzgerald now larry fitzgerald again only on a cardinal steam team is he actually gonna be useful he's way too slow great he's a, he's a sure-handed catcher if you can get him up to 99 speed on a cardinal steam team he's gonna be phenomenal for you but coming in number four we're left with Brian Ballsworth, Amon Green, Whitworth, and Troy Palomalu. Now, we have to go with number four. I'm going with Brian Ballsworth. Now, Brian Ballsworth is good. He has good enough stats. He's pretty comparable probably to some of great linebackers. But there's Patrick Willis. There's a few other guys that could be better. So, he's going to put him at number four. Now, number three, in my opinion, I got to go here with Amon Green. Now, Amon Green has great stats, can be a dual type back, but he's not a human joystick, and there are better backs. So, by choosing him, you're actually opting to get a worse back than other backs. Even on a Packers team team where stats will be great, everyone's stats are great now. It's all about the abilities. For, for a running back, everyone gets 99 speed. Everyone does that. 
comes out to human joystick and a few of those abilities so amon green great back but i think by getting him you're opting for a worse back than others coming number two andrew whitworth it's a left tackle i mean you you, you can't you can't discount a great offensive lineman at this point especially when they haven't really done too many anymore he'll be 99 he'll be pretty cheap to get to pretty easy enough sure up the o-line and then number one gonna have to go with that troy palomalo guys that troy palomalo is absolutely phenomenal but guys that's about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy it if you guys did go down below hit that subscribe button turn that on your boys come join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always and guys that's about it thank you for watching i'm out peace